Welcome back to Deal Unboxing. Today we're going to review a new Wi-Fi 6 router from a company called Re. The reason we decided to review this router is because of its price at $99, which makes it one of the cheapest AX3200 Wi-Fi 6 router in the market. We will also review their Wi-Fi extender as well. So in this review, we will do Wi-Fi speed, coverage and performance test and see how Re RG-E5 Wi-Fi 6 router compare against the existing Wi-Fi 6 router in the market. So please hit like button, it helps with YouTube algorithm to show it to more people. And if you like the content, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications for the future videos. Let's do a quick unboxing. In the box, we have quick start guides, Wi-Fi 6 router, power adapter, and an ethernet cable. Now let's look at the specs. The router is powered by dual core CPU running at 1.4 GHz, 256 MB RAM, 16 MB flash, dual band Wi-Fi 6, MU-MIMO, 1024 QAM, OFDMA, beam forming, 4 plus 4 FEM, and BSS color. In the ports option, router has 1 gig WAN port, 4 1 gig LAN ports, reset button, and a power connection. Let's talk about design and feature. The Wi-Fi 6 router has 8 external antennas, and you cannot remove them. The design is simple and clean, and good overall construction. The Wi-Fi 6 router is configured for maximum performance and coverage up to 3000 square feet and 128 devices. It is a dual band Wi-Fi 6 and it can be also used as a mesh system with a total networking speed of about 3200 megabits per second and following is a breakdown. The 2.4G can deliver up to 800 megabits per second and 5G band can deliver up to 2.4 gigabits per second with 8 streams and those max speeds are only possible with right client hardware only so your speeds will vary. Now let's do some performance coverage and speed test. So we place the Wi-Fi 6 router in the basement storage room. It has concrete walls around it and it is in the lowest part of the house. For this test we are using Intel AX210 Wi-Fi 6 E card installed in our client laptop. So the total square footage of the house is 5000 square feet. I will be testing Wi-Fi connection in different corners and floors of the house to see how well the Wi-Fi 6 router performs in terms of Wi-Fi speed and coverage. In this test, we will use iPerf 3 performance test with 5 streams to measure the maximum bandwidth. So if you're not familiar with the iPerf 3, it is a tool to measure maximum bandwidth on the wireless or wired networks. For this review, we are only going to use 5G band to get the best possible results and have other Wi-Fi signals to create a real world scenario where you have a lot of Wi-Fi signals causing interference. So let's get started. For the first Wi-Fi speed test, I've placed the laptop with Wi-Fi 6 E card installed within the 5 feet of the Wi-Fi 6 router. Then we ran the iPerf 3 test using 5G band and we were able to get a max speed up to 868 megabits per second, which is a great result for a sub $100 Wi-Fi 6 router. You can clearly see in the chart, outstanding start. For the second test, we move all the way to the left corner of the basement. Here we achieve 489 megabits per second for 5G with great signal strength. Good overall result as compared to previous Wi-Fi 6 routers. Next, on the main floor of the house to the left side, this is the toughest spot in the house as we have seen in the previous reviews. Here we achieve 89 megabits per second using 5G, which is great for sub $100 category. Moving on to the right side, here we achieve 333 megabits per second for 5G, which is again a really good score compared to the previous Wi-Fi 6 routers in this price category. Then we move to the first floor of the house to the right side here we achieved 301 megabits per second for 5G. Again, great results. And then moving to the left side of the house, here we achieved 25 megabits per second for 5G with good signals as well. And finally, in the garage, we achieved approximately 3 megabits per second for 5G, which is comparable to the previous single Wi-Fi 6 routers. So in the next test, we added the Re Wi-Fi extender. Re also offers mesh capability with a single click setup. And in this setup results even look better. Every test location saw big improvements, especially where we had low signals. And the results jump impressively as you can see in the charts. So if you have to cover more than 2500 square feet, I highly recommend you should consider adding Re Wi-Fi extender. Now let's talk about the router setup. It is an easy process. All you have to do is to download router app to Android or iOS device. Connect your router to your modem, or if you have Fios with Ethernet connection, you can connect the router's WAN port directly to the Ethernet cable and you don't need a modem. Then just follow the instructions in the app to complete the setup, or you can set up using your web browser. Here we're going to go over the settings very quickly to see what are the available options. The main dashboard will present you with a bunch of top menu, home shows internet status, wired and wireless devices, and Ethernet connection status. Top menu also has an option to check clients, internet Wi-Fi, and advanced features. Advanced features shows you more detailed settings, including WAN, 
LAN, IPTV, IPv6, and repeater mode of the router, followed by WLAN, security, VPN, and more advanced settings, diagnostics, and system settings. There are a ton of settings to choose like printer control and more, but you don't have to set up all these settings if you're not a power user. You can leave everything to default. Let's do the final summary. Overall, RE-RG-E5 AX3200 Wi-Fi 6 router performed extremely well in this review. The router's overall performance and Wi-Fi range was excellent and priced at $100 at the time of this review. The Wi-Fi 6 router also supports mesh network with other re Wi-Fi 6 routers and range extenders and comes with two-year warranty. The Wi-Fi 6 router produced one of the best Wi-Fi coverage and Wi-Fi bandwidth speed for its price point and did it without breaking the bank. So if you're in the market for new Wi-Fi 6 router, then I highly recommend you should check out Re AX3200 Wi-Fi 6 router. Let me know what you guys think of the Wi-Fi 6 router review in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and sub to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications for the future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.